you guys were obviously involved in Hasbro PulseCon 2021. Yeah. Um, yeah. Fun fact, here you go. I don't know if you know this, but um, Hasbro actually invited a group of us to be part of the fan wall. So there was a, a wall of people in the background. There was about 20 oh, people oh in the background. Yeah. And I was one of them. <laughs> so I was watching. Yeah, yeah. So um, uh, Super Sorrel, that's uh, that's my co-host on the Geek Weekend Review. He was on day one um, with the Star Wars reveals and stuff. Mm -hmm. And I was on day two for the X-Men. So I actually got to watch and I was one of the faces that got the reaction that they kind of cut back and they reacted. So, um, so oh. I, I, you know, that was, it's a nice little tie in there, but, um, but obviously you guys got to reveal that, which is an incredible, you know, incredible one, our incredible, um, you know, thing amazing. to be able to do. Amazing. I still can't and, believe and the, co <laughs> the cover was done by one of the guys that actually did storyboards for our show back in the nineties. Oh, wow. Dan, Dan Wiesenmeyer. But they hired him to, to do the cover. Yeah. So that's yeah. authentic X-Men stuff too. And the, this this the shading on these are just it's the yeah the the cell shading design on them are, are fantastic um i mean one thing that hasbro is definitely doing now which is great is that they get involved with a lot of creators and a lot of artists and people like yourselves to actually reveal the figures and i think that that's actually come from the back of you know the pandemic and and lockdowns and that kind of stuff where things used to be announced at conventions doing it online and personally i'm going to say I, I much prefer it this way because to be able to see you know folks like yourselves reveal the figures that are so closely related to things that you've worked on makes so much it, it makes it so much more personal than just kind of the guys who made the figure and seeing artists for example you know reveal figures that are tied in with the the comic books that they've spent time writing and stuff and but you know being able to do that has you know it's a brilliant um move both on a marketing perspective but also on a kind of a fan service perspective by hasbro so when i saw you guys pop up i was like i know what's coming <laughs> and i know what's coming and this is this is what we've been waiting for um and obviously it was wolverine and jubilee um that you guys had you had i think if i remember correctly you had the box of jubilee and you had the, mm -hmm. the in-hand picture of uh, in-hand figure of wolverine and then later on i think it was about a week or so later they also announced a mr sinister as well um yeah. So that's all we've had so far. That's that's all we've seen. I'm I'm guessing there's a few more. And as I said, there's, we there's people. We haven't seen much much either. They're, they're, they're taking their time, more. taking their time no. to let them out. So we know uh, nothing. Yeah. We've seen nothing. Oh, no, I, I'm, 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 I really, 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 really hope that one of the ones down the line is going to be beast because it'll make so many of us happy. <laughs> it really we will. Know, we know it may it may have gotten into the books. It may not. But the general Will Minio, who was at the overall supervisor the first year and and made an awful lot of decisions about the way the show looked and on about, the art side about the details yeah. of the characters and was gifted artist was and, and a lot lifelong marvel praised guy uh from the time he was six or seven and I must be 70 now anyway she had a very strong feeling about beast he's he let he 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 let most some of his uh staff draw some of the other characters and said okay that's close enough and mark said no i'm going to do beast for the show because quote unquote nobody designs beast broadly enough in other mm -hmm. words he'd got he'd keep on getting artists renderings of beast and he'd be too normally proportioned and he says no beast just needs to be slightly unnaturally broad and mm -hmm. that to him was just a crucial it made him seem heavy and gave him just wait that he said mm -hmm. if you don't do it he's just he's just he looks too normal to me and so that was an obsession of wills and the reason that our sweet beast is a little wider looking than maybe some of the other comic artists have have drawn him or even some of the early say er, early toys would have made him but that's that mm -hmm. was all will he mm -hmm. just he, he will will that into being okay. he said my beast has to be broad enough mm -hmm. That's brilliant. That is brilliant. But he is the, you know, for so many people, that's how Beast looks, you know, and that's the the actual figure. And they've been, you know, Hasbro have been giving us so much kind of nostalgia and kind of tips towards the Jim Lee style and the animated series style. So I really hope that the Beast is in that VHS box set. So there is one other character that I've got to mention because obviously, you know, you probably know who it's going to be, um, but it's Morph. And we obviously haven't had a figure of him yet. We haven't had something, but he's another one that people are just going like, give us a morph, you know, because he became, you know, he, he was such a fan favorite. We're kind of saying to these, you know, like to Hasbro, you know, they've given us so many characters, give us a morph, you know, so I'm really hoping he's in the VHS. I bet, I bet, I bet. Here he is. Oh. Here he is. So oh. Oh I, uh, I, I do a few customs for myself, but that's morph was one. 
Morph was one that I had to have. And I went for his evil version just because it was a bit cooler looking, wasn't it? So, um, <laughs> but yeah, so it's it's just made up of various different figures that they've given us. So they can do it. It's there. They have the pieces. Um, so I'm happy because I've got a Morph in my collection, but I'm really hoping we get an official one at some point. So, um, but I had to bring him up. I did have to bring him up. But I remember seeing the um, the kind of teaser that they put out for, for this HasLab project and they used pretty much frame for frame parts of that pilot and you know as soon as as soon as any animated series fan saw that kind of tease you're like it's a sentinel <laughs> hands down they're doing a sentinel like it's, it's a sentinel that's it there's no two ways about it